Oh, Jesus, look at the mess. Morning, Avid. Beat! I'll give you morning, you asshole. Look at the of my bins. me? Shut up, you liar. If you were hungry, you could have come to me and said, Naveed, I'm a tramp and I'm hungry. And I've given you something to eat. Like, uh, I don't know, what would you eat, huh? Potato peelings. Naveed, why did you Mere lies. Look, I like you, Pete. But why don't you, if you'll pardon the pun, come clean? You're a stinking beggar and you enjoy eating for bins. It was a fox. A fox? Describe this fox. Uh, mm, red, bushy tail, uh, wee mad snout. Ah, I see. So let me try and imagine the scene. You are lying here on your ass. This fox is beasting into my garbage. <laughs> then the fox finds two old bananas. He hungrily wolves one down. Spots you, Pete the Jakey. And he feels compassion, because he's a, a kind-hearted fox. He then gives you the other banana. <laughs> da, leave it, Pete. The banana's humchi. <laughs> Ooh. I love a Sunday morning. Gives you a chance to power down and look back at the week's toil, you know. Right. What toil? I don't know, collecting your pension and that and all that entails, you know, etc, etc. Oh, aye, Jack, you must be knackered, eh? <laughs> we ain't never sit down and I'll bring all this through for you. <laughs> oh, give yourself peace. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, even for us, Sunday's like a day half, isn't it? You want a tomato then? Mm, what size is it? It's a Lanark, mine. Mm, not if I could eat a whole one. Half each? Aye, half each. Yeah. You seen this? No. Craig Lang Community Centre. They're having what they call a grand opening. What do you suppose a grand opening is? Grand opening? I don't know. Queen in that? No, that would be a royal opening. Mm. That'll be somebody for the council. No. You see, that'd be an official opening. Mmm. Grand. Grand opening. There's some asshole over take the high road. Ah, <laughs> some bad, stupid weather lasses. Mm -hmm. You remember we went to that supermarket? And that what's its face guy, what was he called again? Oh, aye, aye. Big fat bastard. Aye, him off of that cookery programme, stands next to the stupid cow. Aye, that's the fella. Honking a drink, nine o'clock in the morning, cutting the ribbon to you. <laughs> That's right, big balloon. <laughs> snip, snip. Check, please. Thank you. Pub. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? What? Yep. Make it like this. Look. Look. Please don't think. Look. Not too much now. Look. <laughs> Yeah, that looks nice. Now, you see, I can't eat much in the morning. <laughs> I'm the I've got the appetite of a sparrow. Little and often, that's the key. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, bon appetit. Enjoy. <coughs> <laughs> The quality of a bunting there, Bobby. Nice, isn't it? How much would you expect to pay for a roll of bunting like that? Nothing. Free bunting? I've never heard of such a thing. Where'd you get it? Brian Dexter's car showroom. Is he no in jail for the drugs? Well, I get ten years shoved up his arse. That's right. <laughs> so I necked up, took his bunting. <laughs> what? Mm, well, it wouldn't be me stealing a gangster's bunting. Case piece. Well, he might come back for it. Oh, do you think? OK, Tam. I'm Brian Dexter and I'm in my wee jail cell. What's happening to my showroom? Is my wife getting pumped? Ach, never mind all that. Who's got my bunting? Where's my bunting? Rapping his cup at his bars, screaming at the top of his voice for the whole jail to hear him. Where's my bunting? <laughs> Daft old prick. There's the barman, Jack. 
Oh, I don't know. But I can see a big daft lassie up a ladder, but... <laughs> oh, aye. We can see right up your skirt, Bobby Head, see your frilly panties. So when you're done fannying about with that bunting, Roberta, my love, could you come down and get us a couple of pints? <laughs> What's that S and A, Bobby? He's only Dick Brian Dexter's bunting. <sighs> oh, no, you as well. It's for the community centre opening. What's that today with you? There'll be dignitaries cutting about. Thirsty dignitaries. A lot of passing trade. Oh, well, if they've any bloody brains, that's exactly what they will do. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> passing trade. You'll be lucky. How does this sound? I'll worry about my business, and you still worry about if you're going to make it through another winter. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to realise, Bobby? That this place is a shithole. Accept it. Come to terms with it. And begin to try and deal with it. It's a cope. And no amount of shitty bunting's going to change that. <laughs> Oh, smashing, too flat lagger. Fit for a dignitary. We wide off. Keep your eyes on the mina, he's at the rub. Sadegol will be no more again. What? Kalra, they can sit and the snapple gay. Oh, great mina. There's me again at Laldi to beat the tramp this morning, and you're sitting there like a window licker withholding key information. <laughs> Why? You got two men, Taki Janas and Madia Kanal than they. I knew I'm sleeping. Pete, wait, I want to apologize. That was delicious, Bobby. Another two pints of your flat lagger, please. <laughs> oh, you too. Mm. Jesus. Heiser. You want a drink? No, I'm no stopping. I just popped in to tell you about a scene. Aye, aye, a sweet sherry. But you see Pete. The Jakey? You'll no call him that when you see him. How's that? He's headed in here. You'll see for yourself. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> you all right, eyes are hen? Aye, aye. You saying nothing. Let me take your pulse. Oh, here, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Charlie? Hey? Eyes up. Jimmy? Glass of thunder, Bob Bobby! Judge <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Do you uh, want that in a martini glass? Get it up, you. <laughs> no, no, no. That'll no do at all. Near you. Have you won the lotto? You're going to a funeral. It's a court you're going to. You're getting married. You Pete the Tramp's rich twin. Why are you wearing a oh, suit, mate? Oh, Tell us why it's a family. Come on. Community centre. Opening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Load of council big wigs are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Well, me, having been with internal operations, I have been called in to protect them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm telling you. I will don't talk a lot of shite in terms of operations. Who do you think you are, 007? <laughs> License to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Bastard. Alky Bastard. <laughs> Chicken Monster. Seven of them and a kebab. <laughs> so there's me shouting and bawling at Pete, huh? bloody bin raker. And then she tells me it was a fox. So if you see him, telling him I'm looking for him. Will do, Navid, OK. A fox, eh? Tough one. See, if it was a rat, now you'd just set a trap for it or poison it end a problem, but a fox? <laughs> How do you catch a fox? By becoming one. Eh? eh? <laughs> Shug. Shug. Aye, the fox appears to be a filthy bastard with stinking fur, thriving on rubbish, giving little in return. But he's smart, wily. He's no dirty, he's clean. Groomed. Aye, there's more to Mr Fox than meets the eye. He wants what you've got, and when does he want it? Night time. So you have to outsmart him. Be trickier than him. See him in the very darkness he hides in. 
get under his skin, become him. Back to you, you snap it. Did you make enough buggers, Pete? Mm, bit of fun that suit in a bin. <laughs> Internal operations. Mm. Imagine Pete protecting anybody. <laughs> You're off a quiet, Bobby. What are you sent out? I don't know. Don't know what? Maybe he was telling the truth. What? Get to a body yourself. No, no, listen. I've never spoken about this before, and it's going to sound stupid, but, well, there was one night in here that must have been 20 years ago. Do we have to have this again? Turn that shit off. Shut up. I like it. It was a quiet night. Just a couple of punters in. A few boys at the pool table. Pete was in. Just sitting like he always does, reading his paper. Next thing I know, a rammy starts in. Fighting, shouting and bawling. No. Here's the thing. By the time I get boom, two boys are lying decked too, and Pete's holding a third boy who's sleeping like a baby. I says, what's happened here? Nothing, he says. <laughs> so what are you saying? You're saying that he, he said about them all? But the smell of them and knocked them out. <laughs> You buying this? It's an odd story, right enough, Jack. Victor? Like it's a lot of shite. We'll get to the bottom of it. Come on. How's it been doing? Well, I've got to find Pete. Find out what the hell it is he's talking about, uh, but I suspect there'll be a lot of pish. Mind you, that was a curious tale Bobby was telling. I mean, how could Pete lay out three men single handedly? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe they've tried to take his drink off him and he's turned into the Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk. <laughs> ah! Jesus, I'll bust. Give me back my pain! <laughs> what are you used to off to in a hurry? Is Naveed selling incontinence pads at half price? <laughs> Where are you going? Oof. It's a big story. Naveed's being plagued by a fox. It's in amongst all his garbage, tearing away at the bins and spreading its filth everywhere. It's going to have to be stopped. I'm heading up to Shugs just now. He's got some equipment. We're going to hunt it down. Exciting, eh? Oh, yeah. That's quite exciting, eh? What are you doing? A certain somebody known to you and us, a man, may or may not be a covert agent for the government. Eh? We're going to follow this man and place him under our surveillance to ascertain whether or not he's telling the truth. That's really sad, that. <laughs> that you two won't admit that you've got nothing today. I mean, here am I, I'm doing something really interesting, but you two won't have it. You're trying to top it with spy pish. Right. <laughs> Look, if you two are going up the road to pull on woolly slippers, slurp tea and eat blue ribbons whilst watching 15 to 1, then be man enough to admit it. Don't lie to people that know you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a fox to catch. Winston, Winston, we're telling you. Right, OK. I'll play along with your wee game. Who is your international man of mystery? Peter Jakey. <laughs> no. Victor, what about you? Hey, falling a tramp about the tune. <sighs> Desperate, isn't it? <laughs> Is that how we've got to do with our time? Eh? That we've got to fill it up with this. Dreaming up a lot of 
Secret agent shite. We must be half our nuts, eh? <sighs> Come on, jump back in the bus. I won't. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. Oh. Look! He's sitting in that big fancy hotel. So he is. Not one. I won't. Gentlemen, right on time. Are we equipped? I was on. Come on in. What do you got for me? All uh, right, all uh, right. Uh, got scraps. Do you attract them? No, chicken, pork, fat. Bait, nice. <laughs> and then we've got a stinger. 240 volts. That should render them immobile for about a minute. Giving us time to batter them over the melt with a brick or something. No, no, giving us time to slip them into this bag. Ah, throw them in the canal. No, release them in the countryside. Countryside? Ah, yeah. oh, good one, if you mean. How are we going to see them? It's going to be pitch black. Oh, we'll see them all right. With these. Night goggles? Ah, uh. oh, quality. <laughs> Winston, put lights out. There you go. Oh, and these are the bollocks. Winston! Winston! Oh, you, you cheeky bastard! No butter in these, no? No, I've no goat in it. Yeah, I'll branch some pickle in if you want it. Ah, oh, that'll do. Here, what do you think we saw the day? Oh, I don't know, Jack. <laughs> we saw something, though. See, the thing is, he couldn't have always been an alky. I mean, he must have done something before he had the sauce. Aye, that's right, aye. I mean, what do we actually know about him? See, I can't remember him ever working. No, neither can I, no. Yeah, maybe he's not an alky at all. Maybe he's leading a double life. <laughs> well, there'll be some turn up for the books if he is involved with the government right enough. Aye, after ripping the piss at him. What was it you said? Licence to get pissed. <laughs> that was he or? Was you'll be pissed halfway. Who? Oh. You did the bloody bottom theme and called him an alky bastard. <laughs> what be pissed off? I don't know. We went in pretty heavy on him. Think he's going to rub his out? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> come after us, you know. Kill us, government style, you know. There you are on your way to the post office, and you get there, and you're in the queue. Hello, Tam. Hello, Winston. Hello, Eric. Oh, then you see a face you don't recognise. Next thing you know, eh, stab with a poison end of a brawly. <laughs> Assassinate it. <laughs> Aye, and you're sitting in the park with half a loaf, feeding the ducks. A nice day. An old dear sits down next to you. Hello, but you look down, she's got stubbly legs. <laughs> next thing you know, she's got on you! Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't assassinate me, but. <laughs> oh no. no. I'm too alert, I'd see him coming. Oh, huh? aye. Aye, I'd intercept him, right? I'd chop away the brawl, I'd grab him, I'd burl him round, and I'd do that thing they do in the pictures. <laughs> Snap his neck, here you are, you bastard. <laughs> Can you get that open? <laughs> I'd pull his jacket over his head, incapacitate him, pin his arms to his body. <laughs> then I'd take the palm of my own, smash it off his nose, kill him deed, do not go like a sack of spuds. <laughs> oh, can I get that out of here? <laughs> you might just eat these dry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another paint over here, Bobby, please. Is that you uh, putting the finishing touches on for the morrow, is it? Aye. Mm. Here, did you steal that out of Brian Dexter's showroom tea? Aye. I'd to cut a bit off it, but... <laughs> Bobby, you might be right about Pete. We followed him into the tune and he was acting right suspicious. Yeah, we saw him hooking up with a couple of suits. There's definitely something going on, eh? Tell you. 
Mm. Internal operations. Fleet. Go big. Glass of Thunderbird. Eh, uh, no, water. What the matter? Oh, that's right. Snigger, have a laugh. Too much to swallow that smelly old alky like me could have any responsibilities. Who'd want any day with me, eh? What good am I, Andy? That's all right. You wait tomorrow. We'll see who's sniggering then. Cheers. Oh, and, uh, by the way, the admission, should you choose to accept it, sniff my monkey ring. <laughs> I'm not passing up much to the road, man. <laughs> Bored of my tits here. We've only been here half an hour. Half an hour? So it's been 29 minutes since the novelty of these goggles wore off. What are you talking about? I thought I was going to see Craig Lang at night. Unknown Craig Lang. Break-ins and kids doing graffiti, Neds, shagging in the park, knifings, murders, that kind of thing. Instead, what have we seen? A dog taking a dump. What a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Should go for a night tomorrow? Good. No hassle. I've got to take a pish. Right. You know, my back teeth are swimming. We just say we're looking for a fox. We're wearing night vision goggles. We look like three assassins. I and I borrowed these goggles for the Terry's route till I not get left. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, this is too much for any man to take. <laughs> you push all over my tank top. It's ringing you. Thank you. Ah, I'm not in a can in a beach for some tobacco. Right, oh. Shut. That's hard. It's normally open by now. Probably still in his bed, the big balloon. Here, do you know they're throwing 30 grand at this community centre? Are they? Ah, that's like pissing in the wind around about here. Couldn't so build it up and the Ned's pan it in, eh? What's in it anyway? Big bong table, I think. Is that it? Eh? Hey. Jesus, Disney World. Disney World, Merle. <laughs> <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to be here today. Oh, it does, Nate. <laughs> uh, you know, with great admiration, I I've watched the community of Craig Lang grow and flourish. Oh, you yeah, have, Nate. <laughs> My father grew up here in Craig Lang, and he always had the greatest respect for his home. No, I did, Nate. And I only wish that he could be here today to see this. Oh, no, you don't. I'm sure that he would join me in congratulating Craig Lang today as we open this wonderful facility. For this building is a magnificent addition to a caring, thriving, forward-thinking community. No, it is not. <laughs> oh. There's Pete. Where? There, up by the councillor. Jesus, he was right enough. Pete! Pete! You should punch your hole in, you bastard. All right, tell a lot of lies about working for the police. <laughs> Protecting the councillor. Look, I'm sorry. Why did you do it, Pete? <laughs> Shut up, you wee dick. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you getting into a lift with a couple of heavies. Ah, well, I clocked you two following me. So I stood beside them so you'd think I was wearing them. You weren't aware of them? Uh, you haven't got 20p for a cup of tea, boys. 
No. So that was all shite. Sorry. You're reeking a pish. No, that's me. Hey. <laughs> Golf pissed on my tank top. What? <laughs> Never mind. Why'd you tell all the lies, Pete? I'll tell you why. You any idea what it's like to be me? Peter Jakey. Peter Tramp. Smelly Pete, eh? And then another thing. Craig Lang. It's a shite hole. And I'm the shittiest thing in it. <laughs> that's the way people think about me. And I'm sick of it. So that's how I made up all them lies. That it was important. That I was somebody, eh? Big deal. So what? No, you just know. I'm a nobody. Bollocks! Aye, bollocks. I've been sitting in that cell for four hours. My bloody ass is numb. We've just done time for you, you arsehole. Easy, <laughs> easy. Aye, calm down. Get us all lifted again. Jack, Victor, you've been a bit harsh. We're all just at the jail, huh? Emotions running a wee bit high. We're all a bit raw. So we told a lie and it got a bit out of hand. We all tell lies. We shouldn't be signaling him out because of what he is. Why don't we get a drink and have a laugh about this? We could all do one. Aye, yeah. I'll take a half hour. Right. Right. <clears throat> so how did a police come to be pissing in your tank top? We were fox hunting. Oh, eh, that's another thing. There wasn't any fox. It was me that was raking through your bins. <laughs> you dirty, smelly, oh, oh, useless, oh, oh, oh. stinking, bin raking bastard. <laughs> Ah, it's good to have you out, Brian. It's good to be out. So, what's been happening? Oh, your business is down the tubes. Bobby for the Klansman's came up and nicked your bunting. David Taylor's shagging your missus. <laughs> Back up a bit. Who's got my bunting? <laughs> No, thank you, sir. Oh, they still think I'm a tramp. Oh, really? Uh, where would that be, sir? Eh? Thursday, midnight. <laughs> uh, I'll need a chopper and uh, six cans. <laughs> <laughs>